All right. Family and friends, we really thank you and welcome you here. And Jackie and I, we really, you know, would like to thank you for the effort that you're putting coming to this place. We know that it's far away from you guys, but uh, to be with us and celebrating, you know, the union of these two beautiful souls here, Veronica and Mike. You know, on this special occasion, you know, we gathering together to witness the merging of their lives, you know, and give our love and support for the journey they are embarking on, you know, and hoping you know, there will be a lot of love in your lives, compassion, friendship. You know. So, um, I'm very emotional now. So, <laughs> so Veronica and Mike, you know, um, may always feel your life with love. <sighs> Too much. Um, create a home full of warmth, happiness, a lot of kids. No, <laughs> no, no pressure, Mike. No pressure, Mike. <laughs> so, so we really wish, you know, that the journey you are embarking on will be blessed with peace, love, and happiness. And uh, we are here to celebrate this love that has been, you know, a blessing in your life, and it is a love that, you know, put you together. Also of you, just make sure that uh, the flame of love will be always there. Good job, Washington. That was lovely, and I, I can't say much more than that. I think Washington really encapsulated um, how happy we are. And um, I just want to say, McGarty family, good job with this boy. Um, we really loved Mike, and we think that he, you know, he's just low-key, easygoing, low drama, and, um, you know, the, the first time I met Mike was on July 4th on my birthday, and we were kayaking in a mangrove, uh, which is like a network of branches, and there's like giant black spiders, and you're kayaking under them, so they say the spiders don't do anything, but they're spiders, and they're huge, and so I hit... Mike on the side of the face with my paddle. <laughs> and he was so gracious about it. He, I was mortified and he didn't even flinch. Um, and then the next time, like a year later, we went to Texas to my nephew's 50 year birthday party. And, you know, we were Cubans on steroids. I mean, salsa music going on, three or four custom made domino tables, <laughs> alcohol, food. And I look to my side, and Mike is with like his hat flipped back, rapping to Celia Cruz on the side of a domino table, eating and drinking. And I thought, he's one of us. Yes. He won. And he probably won. He, um, so I just, it just shows you how you know he's really tried to like blend in to to you know to just kind of like blend in and just kind of you know accept us. Uh, as, as his family, and we couldn't be happier. And as to the both of them, they um, share a wonderful sense of humor together. And I've seen them like, you know, when somebody needs support and the other one jump in. And, and I think those are great qualities for a couple. And so I have really high hopes for them. And we love you both. And congratulations on your marriage. Uh And the, the good news, the good news for all those singles girl, 
the Michael has a twin. Andrew, <laughs> just in case. Sorry about that. <laughs> we got it. Michael, Veronica, I'm so glad you guys met. Michael, you make me so proud. <laughs> One of us got to keep it together. Yeah. <laughs> Veronica, you changed Michael, opened him up to new things. Uh, I think you're perfect for each other. I love you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the family. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and anyone who might have wandered in here by accident, thank you for being here today. We are gathered here today to celebrate something truly magical, something so rare and wonderful that it simply must be celebrated. I'm, of course, talking about the open bar. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Casey. I like to give my speech by giving Mike and Veronica some relationship advice. I'm single, so maybe I'm not the best to be giving out advice like that. <clears throat> but I met Ver Veronica our freshman year of college in 2017, and after our first Target trip together, I knew I was never letting her get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> so now we all know Veronica is beautiful, but can we give a moment to appreciate how stunning she looks today? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you're a lucky guy. Just don't let it get to your head. <laughs> On a serious note, I think everyone in this room knows what an amazing person Veronica is. And I'm honored to be here today to celebrate the rest of the start of her life. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, Mike and Veronica met on Tinder over four years ago. And are any, the reason anyone in this room under the age of 30 can believe it love at first swipe. <laughs> Mike, Veronica told us after she went on her first date with Mike that she didn't tell us before because she had a good feeling about this one. Turns out she was right, so I'll be calling her the next time I'm picking out lotto numbers. <laughs> Mike is so wonderful that I didn't even have to threaten him by saying, if you hurt her, I'll kill you. I mean, I did. I just didn't have to. <laughs> In all seriousness, it's been so wonderful to watch, watch the love Mike and Veronica have for one another grow into what it is today. I cannot wait to see where the rest of this adventure takes them as husband and wife. So everyone, please join me in raising your glasses in celebration of the new Mr. and Mrs. McGarty. Cheers. Cheers.